Sometimes people are curious about how hydroponics can be incorporated into a school setting. Today we're going to take you on a tour of some of the systems that we have and talk about how students have been involved in their operation. A new system that we have in our cafeteria is this eight tower farm wall from Zipgrow. This is a vertical NFT system with a pump in the reservoir and drip emitters that circulate the nutrient solution continuously. We previously talked about our four tower farm wall that is off the grid. The purpose of this farm wall is to allow us to produce a lot of leafy greens relatively quickly. Recently, we were able to harvest the entire farm wall and provide around 40 heads of lettuce to the local overnight shelter. Students harvested the lettuce, bagged it, and rotated in new seedlings. So far, we've found that once seedlings go into the towers, they're ready to be harvested in around three to four weeks, and we can decide then whether to harvest everything or to pick at it. We've only been planting lettuce in these towers so far, so it's kept us pretty busy. Looking good. In order to make sure that we had the seedlings to supply our various systems, we needed a low maintenance way to produce a lot of seedlings. The DIY seedling cart from Zipgrow was a terrific solution. When we began, we had seedling trays on heat mats, under grow lights, but it was very hard to scale up that setup. We did DIY a couple of ebb and flow systems on our own, but this system has been so much better and maintenance free. The reservoir on the bottom contains a pump plugged into a timer. Every seven hours, the pump turns on for five minutes and floods the top tray. You can see here where the water comes in. On the other side, there are elbows that in combination with the bottom 90s create a siphon. This floods the bottom tray, when the, which then siphons back into the reservoir. This is great because when combined with these peat plugs, the seedlings have the moisture they need to germinate and develop their first set of adult leaves. Once the seedlings have developed adult leaves, we currently are using a dropper to feed them a dilute nutrient solution. We do this until the seedlings are roughly two inches tall and then move them into a different system. This is our STS STEM hydroponics cart. Depending on when you walk by this, it can look completely different. It started as a structure for us to hang some of our original towers, but now we use it for whatever we're working on at the time. We have different lighting options and are really only limited by our imagination. Currently, we have this aeroponic tote with some young jalapeno peppers. Uh, the pump and nutrient solution are at the bottom, and there's this manifold built out of this half inch PVC and Mr. is attached to it. The pump turns on every 15 minutes and mist the roots to keep the environment in the tote ideal for the roots to grow and do their jobs. Up top here, we have another type of NFT, although this is not really a nutrient film and maybe more of a deep water culture trough. The pump in this system runs continuously and the nutrient solution circulates. Because the water level is so deep in the pipe, we added aeration to the reservoir so the roots have the oxygen they need. One thing we've found with this system is it is helpful to put the seedlings into a deep water culture tote first to help draw the roots out a little bit before putting them into the system here. Right now we have kale in these three inch net pots, uh, but previously this system was growing strawberries. This tote at the bottom is a deep water culture type tote with an air stone running continuously. A group of students actually built this the other day because we had so many lettuce seedlings and not enough places for them. We have a three inch hole saw that we use for building a lot of our systems and this allows our three inch net pots to rest nicely in the holes. Students cut the holes in the lid of the tote, place seedlings into the net pots, and then filled the net pots with hydroton. We took this system out into the hall, rigged up a grow light, and then filled the tote with a nutrient solution. We have a couple of different options for nutrients but have found all of them to be pretty easy to work with and the dosing instructions have been easy to follow. In all of our systems, we measure EC, which gives us the relative nutrient concentration and also the pH, so that the nutrient uptake is optimal and our plants are getting everything that they need. 
We found students are extremely interested in our hydroponic projects, and this is really helping drive a conversation around sustainability, food security, and what is actually necessary to grow the food we need. Thanks to our school division, Golden Hills, as well as TD Friends of the Environment Foundation for supporting us as we expanded some of our hydroponic projects. We're now able to provide more food and more learning opportunities for our students here at our school. See you next time on Awkward Aquaponics.